Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to use screen presso to take screenshots of whatever is on your screen. So first and foremost, you just have to go to screen presso forward slash download. I'll also put the link at the description box below. And then you just have to choose your computer type. So since I'm using Windows 10, I'm going to use this one. Um, this is the latest version. I think they would have something for iOS. I'm not quite sure. I haven't tried, but just click on download screen presso. It'll ask for your email. Um, you can choose to skip that. There will be a pop-up here. Click OK and then it'll start downloading. You'll see that at the bottom right there. Once it is done downloading, let's see. Let's check what's here. It says it's in HTML. So let's just... It'll say downloading. Thank you for downloading. Downloading will start in a few seconds. I don't see where it's showing download. So it says here if, it, if the download doesn't start, click on the direct link here. So let's click on that. Okay. Another pop-up. I think this is where you can actually download it. So just click on download. Okay, this is the file type that we are looking for. We're looking for something that says .exe. So once that's done, you just have to click on that. And then your screen should show something like... You will get a pop-up like this. All you have to do is click on I accept the license just tick on that box and then click on install on this computer so just go to screen preso yung i-download natin okay okay and then right click and then run as sa top Right at the top, it says run as administrator. Hi. And then you should have this pop up. So just say yes. Langan ko na pala ng bagong ano. Desktop. Um, screen. Anin? Screen. Ah, wallpaper. Desktop wallpaper. Okay, so just clip. Click on I accept license and then install on this computer and that should make it work. So let's wait for what does it say? Screen presso successfully installed. Use control panel to install to uninstall it. Application will restart now. Click OK. Alright. So, may survey pa siya, but we're not going to take that. Um, let's go ahead and check if running na siya. So, screen preso. Let's type in screen preso. Okay, it's there. Um, let's run it as administrator again. And then click yes. And then, one other thing that you need to check just to be sure na, na naka-download na si screen preso is when you click on your taskbar, makikita nyo na siya na dapat na magraran siya dito. So, let's wait and see. Okay, nandito na siya. Uh, this one. So... Screen Preso needs an internet connection to work properly. Retry. May internet naman ako. Hmm. Okay. So, let's check. Kung nandun na siya. Wala pa din. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me try and restart. Okay. So, for you to know if you already have screen preso installed, and guys, nakadalawang restart na ako ng PC. When you go to your taskbar, you would actually see there this icon. So, nandun siya. Usually, yung taskbar nasa baba siya, pero yung sa akin nasa taas. So, huwag nyo lang pansinin yun. And, 
Um, let's see for example, because this is how I use it. Once you have it installed on your um, laptop or your computer, all you have to do is, let's click on print screen. Pagka-click nyo nun guys, mapapansin nyo, eto na, ganito na siyang tingnan. So for example ako, I wanna take a screenshot of this one from my mouse. Hold, drag, one yung areas na gusto nyong screenshot. And then, you would automatically get a pop-up from screen preso, like such. And then, kung gusto nyo siyang i-copy sa email nyo, all you have to do is double-click on the picture. And then, click on copy and exit. Now, that way, you would actually be able to just click on control V sa for example you want to send an email and you want to add that screenshot that you took on your email all you have to do is go to your taskbar click on the arrow down look for the screen preso icon double click on that and you will get this pop up just double click on that and you will see this when you get this pop up just click on copy and exit Go create that email by clicking on Compose. You know, how you uh, would regularly send an email. When you get to the body of the email, let's say for example... So for example, on your email, you wanna say hello. And then from your keyboard, just click on Control v It will automatically paste the screenshot that you took on your email. And that's pretty much how you would use Screenpresso to take screenshots and copying it on your email.